What's up everyone, Boomsling here with another video about Tom Clancy's The Division, and today we're going to be talking about some of the new gear sets coming in Update 1.3 and the Underground. And the reason I say that is because there is a little bit of a segregation between some of the gear sets. There are four new gear sets coming in the Underground expansion and one gear set which is coming in the free 1.3 update that will be available to everybody. So as soon as you download the Update 1.3, you can go out in the world and actually collect this particular gear set. And that's the first one we're going to talk about. This one is called alpha bridge alpha bridge lets you take advantage of all equipped weapon talents as long as you have equipped two weapons of the same archetype and we'll get into that once we talk about the talents but first let's talk about the set bonuses with two pieces of alpha bridge you are going to get a plus two med kit capacity this is going to really help all these uh, solo players this is like that that's actually how this uh gear set is kind of uh, uh aimed for those kinds of people where you can kind of survive a little bit easier when you're playing by yourself so you're going to get a plus two med kit capacity with the set bonus of of two pieces you're going to get 100 health regen with the three piece bonus and for the four piece or the talent you're going to get alpha bridge which if your primary and secondary weapon is of the same category they both gain all of the unique active talents so if you have two assault rifles two submachine guns two marksman rifles two lmgs and you have them both equipped in your primary and your secondary slot, then every single one of those weapon talents is going to automatically be unlocked for you. I think this is going to be really interesting. You're gonna be able to mix up your builds a lot. The only problem with this is you're going to run out of ammo really, really fast. So I could see this going really well with Lone Star. Get two pieces of Lone Star in there. That way you can buff your uh, ammo capacity, help you um, sustain some uh, your fire a little bit longer because you're going to run through ammo really quickly using two types of the same gun. You're 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 going to run dry pretty quickly, so you're going to keep that in mind. But if you have some really good talents on two guns, then you can think about hey maybe switching some of these guns in and out to actually take advantage of those particular weapon talents. Next up is Reclaimer. This is one that I'm actually really excited about to play as support for my team in PvE area. I think this is really going to be kind of an annoying set in PvP. We just have to wait and see how it actually play plays out. But consumables are hard to find but ultimately effective when used in the right moment the reclaimer set is another support oriented gear with focuses on the usage of the consumable so with the two piece set bonus you're going to get plus 100 percent support station healing speed now this is going to be really great for pve because people run with support station a lot in that area pvp is a little tricky because this can actually give away your position on a map and it kind of restricts you to staying in one area in order to get that healing ability but plus 100 percent might actually make it a little bit more viable uh, with a three-piece set bonus you're going to get plus 50 percent consumables duration so if you have 30 second uh, uh incendiary rounds or anything like that it's going to last a little bit longer you're going to be a lot more effective for your team now with a four piece set bonus, you're going to get Reclaimer. Now this talent allows consumables and special ammo used will now apply to the entire group and are not consumed on use. So you are basically going to be a buff master. You're gonna continually give your team these buffs. So if people aren't drinking their water like they should be during a heroic mode, which is coming in update 1.3, then you can be that person who supplies that for them and ultimately be the, the strong support player in your squad. So personally, I'm really excited for this gear set for that particular reason. Really have to wait to see how this plays out in PvP though. I hope it doesn't turn out the way I think it's going to. After that one, we have the blind gear set. That's something I'm probably going to play around with a lot. So let's talk about the set bonuses. With this two piece set bonus, you're going to get plus 20% pulse critical hit damage now the pulse already gives you critical hit damage so adding 20 percent on top of that and if you're running with the tactical scanner you're going to be doing a lot more damage using the pulse and the pulse is already a very very popular skill so that's one reason i'm kind of disappointed with this one i would have liked to see maybe the seeker mine or the turret or some other skill that isn't really used kind of get some attention so we can actually use different builds and things because it's kind of getting boring to see everybody running with the pulse scan. But it's cool to see that we have something that kind of caters towards that a little bit more. Now with the three piece set bonus, you're going to get plus 100% blind death resistance. Now you ask yourself, 
why would we get that? That seems like a really pointless bonus to have on this gear set. Well, that's because of the four piece bonus or the gear talent. This is called blind system and killing a target creates a flashbang effect at that position. So you're going to be really thankful for the three piece bonus because if you're killing people that are right up on top of you, like if a shotgunner comes running at you or any kind of enemy like that, they're going to detonate a flashbang on yourself and you know flashbangs will affect yourself if you're caught in that blast. So having plus 100% blind death resistance is going to really help in that kind of scenario. This is going to be great because you're not going to have to run with the flashbang uh, sticky bomb mod as much as you used to. You can kind of be that crowd control guy without actually having to run with crowd, crowd control skills. You'll be able to free that slot up in order to use some other kinds of skills. So you might be able to run with a four piece of this, run with a reclaimer, and then you can kind of be a support player as well as a crowd control player. So that's gonna be a cool uh, uh, opportunity to mix up those those two gear sets. Next up, we have Deadeye. Now this is more of a long range sniper type build. With the two piece set bonus of this, you're gonna get plus 20% marksman rifle critical hit damage. This seems kind of weird to me that you would get critical hit damage, but when we get into the talent, it makes a little more sense. Now, uh, like I said, it's more of a marksman rifle build, so if you love your marksman rifles, then this is probably going to be something to look at, especially the two-piece bonus. With the three-piece set bonus, you're going to get plus 40% initial bullet stability. So again, it's going to really help you control that recoil with your marksman rifles, um, with that initial uh, uh, recoil from your gun, jerking it up into the air. So that's going to be good. It's definitely, you can see the whole marksman rifle uh, mold kind of taking place here. And with the four-piece set bonus or the talent, it's called Deadeye. Now, while you're not scoped, critical hit chance on marksman rifles is increased to 100%, but headshot damage bonus is removed from your marksman rifle. So you know marksman rifles come with an intrinsic uh, bonus of headshot damage, usually right around 130, 150%, which is pretty significant. So you're going to have to decide whether you want to trade that headshot damage for your critical hit chance. Now, this is the reason the two-piece bonus plays, an, uh, plays a role in it because it's going to give you plus 20% marksman rifle critical hit damage so if you have four pieces you're going to be constantly getting critical hits so you can really build this particular gear set out with critical hit damage and just start melting people with this critical hit so if you love marksman rifles this is going to be really cool um I, I'm, I'm really excited about some of these gear sets how they're going to allow you to kind of mix and match these with uh, the, the the new gear sets and some of the old ones and finally last but maybe possibly least is firecrest now this sounds really cool but with the nerfs to the consumables i'm not quite as excited for this as i was before as we know the incendiary bullets are getting a nerf from burning someone from 10 seconds to three seconds and in pvp that is that's a great thing that's something that really needed to happen it was really annoying to fight against people who constantly ran with incendiary rounds and they would just set you on fire, render you uh, unable to defend yourself, and then you would just die from people shooting you while you were vulnerable. But if this is the same effect against PvE targets, then it's going to be really frustrating because you're only going to burn people for 3 seconds instead of 10. Not going to be a very effective crowd control. We'll just see how this one plays out. But anyways, the but the bonuses with this, with two pieces, you're going to get plus three incendiary bullets capacity. So you're going to have six incendiary bullets instead of three. And with the three piece set bonus, you're going to gain plus 100% reload speed. This is going to be essential in maintaining the actual talent of this gear set, which is called Firecrest. Killing a burning target grants incendiary bullets for 10 seconds. So you're going to be using your incendiary bullets a lot with this particular gear set you're going to want to use your uh this is basically going to be a pyromaniac's dream build you can run with your airburst seeker mines because that sets people on fire then you're going to want to run with the flame turret mod so you can constantly be setting people on fire and getting that burn debuff on all of these enemies and then playing around and kind of trying to set everyone on fire and kill everyone while you're on fire this doesn't excite me as much as all of the other gear sets i think this one's going to be really weak compared to the others it might have been better if it just gave you like a percentage chance to set people set PVE enemies on tar on fire instead of 
of uh, PvP players. That way it would have been, you know, a little bit more of a sure thing. Now you have a chance to kill somebody that's burning, and then it gives you incendiary rounds for 10 seconds. Then you can only burn people for three seconds. So I don't know how this one's actually going to play out. But anyways, that's all of the new gear sets coming in uh, the Division Underground at Update 1.3. As a reminder, the Alpha Bridge is going to be free to everybody, whether you purchase Underground or not. Now, to get the other four, you're going to need to buy the Underground expansion separately, and then you will gain access to that. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for these new gear sets? Which ones do you think are going to go well with the new ones? How are you going to uh, play around with your build using these new gear sets? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say and what you're going to do with your with these new gear sets and your build. So anyways, this has been Boom Slang. Thanks for watching. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more of the Division content, and I will see you in the next video.